Cause all around the county every woman and man knows we'll pull you over just to play our banjo. What's up, y'all? Uh, Dan was behind the camera. We're heading down to Greenfield. We're not ordered to be in court or anything. We just uh, learned of a meeting that's going on in public safety. The mayor and the chief and some other folks will be there. So thought it'd be good for us to get down there and uh, you know ask some questions and, and uh, remind them of what, what they did to us. Public safety department policies and procedures review. Um, we decided that we were going to take this in pieces. Um, um, chief uh, Gilbo, um, has provided a link via email so that we have access to those. Um, did anybody receive those? No. Or Chief, no. did you just send it to me? Okay, if there was anything else at this point, um, we've got all the items on the agenda, so I'll open the uh, meeting up to the public. If anyone has anything that they'd like to bring forward? I'd like to speak to the floor. I'm not sure if it's for the committee or maybe the Chief or even the Mayor, but uh, I know I've spoken to them. I've tempted to speak to them all, or my colleague who's with the camera behind me has. But uh, if it is the Public uh, Safety Commission's duty, um, I think when you're reviewing the policies of the police department, there's an issue that needs to be looked at that isn't often used, but it is when people have things like this gentleman who has a camera behind me, and it's called felony wiretapping. And it seems the police department has a policy of issuing tickets to people for filming them, which uh, is not illegal to film a public official in the course of their duties. Um, to deter individual citizens from filming them for their public duties. There are cases uh, in 2007, um, Emily Payton was arrested in Greenfield, Massachusetts. I'm not sure if any of you are familiar with that case, um, but if you're not, I'll give you a few details. Um, Emily Payton was filming a anti-war protest in a grocery store parking lot where a man climbed on a sign, and the, she was filming this uh, publicly. Um, the felony wiretapping law is designed to forbid people from filming them in secret. Um, secretive or elusive or other terms of hiding, definitions of hiding are over and over in the law of filming people. So Emily is filming with a two foot camera in her hand, uh, a little larger than the one my colleague is holding, and uh, is arrested by the Greenfield Police Department because she was recording the audio. Are you intimately familiar with this case? Uh, excuse me? Are you intimately familiar with this case? Um, this occurred down at the big Y on the Mohawk Trail. Yes, it did. Okay. Um, I am. I wasn't involved with that. I, I've, you know, I've recently met Emily Payton um, through my experience because the Greenfield Police Department has also charged me with felony wiretapping for filming their uh, employees in their duties. Um, but anyways, to, to bring it back, the long story short of that case is those charges were dropped by the district attorney after several months and a very expensive proceedings at the state's or the city's uh, cost. Um, but now it seems that the city is dead set on trying this again, costing more money to the cities, and it seems that in three years, four years, depending on when in 2007, Emily had to go through such grievances that I'm going through, that nothing has changed in the policy, that the officers haven't been instructed, that the law states, and I can, I can give you some um, information or if there's an email address that can be had, I only brought one copy, but um, prior to 2007, <coughs> Three other people have been charged with this throughout Massachusetts, and um, all, all the other ones, all three have been dropped. The one person who has been convicted of this actually did secretly record it. There are judges' quotes in here from the courts stating how um, being open, openly recording, seeing that somebody is recording. I was actually wearing the same shirt I am today because I am a freelance blogger at a police website called coplock.org. I mean, it's pretty sure, it's pretty clear what this shirt is implying that mm -hmm. you will be filming police officers. So when the policy is being reviewed, I think that the procedures are something you guys need to talk with. It's giving your city a bad name, mm -hmm. and it's costing your city a lot of money. I mean, the mayor hasn't yet commented on this and has talked about it several times with ourselves. I mean, we have videos at uh, coplock.org slash Greenfield, if you want to check that out, uh, where he's even on video saying he would talk about this and then refuses to since then, uh, setting a deadline even, mm -hmm. and going against his word. I didn't know if you uh, had time, to, if you had received that report yet, and if so, if you had uh, comments about it. I have not received the report. Uh, I have scheduled a, a departmental meeting. We have a monthly departmental meeting. So our next one coming up in August, we'll have well, the police department will deal with this uh, internal investigation. The chief isn't very interested in speaking with any of us uh, either. But so maybe you, you guys can um, is take this, the policy. Is this case presently being adjudicated? Um, my case is still currently active in the court system. But the policy, I'm not here to, to ask you about my case. I know I have my day in court. 
I'm asking you guys if, you, if it is if it is the responsibility of the committee or the commission to review the policy of the police department. They are abusing uh, um, a citizen's right to film a public official in their capacity, like I requested to today. Um, and they're saying they need <laughs> to have the permission of the officer when really you don't. Uh, it's secretive. The officer is allowed to leave, do other things, et cetera, et cetera. Do you have the um, law number? I yes, can sir. read it to you if you like. I have it. I have it written down how, here. How long are we talking about? A couple, nope, nope, a couple, a couple sentences. That's fine. Not even. It says, "Willfully commits an interception." Now, interception is previously defined in, in point four as the term interception means to secretly hear, secretly record, or aid another to secretly hear or secretly record the contents of any wire or oral communications through the use of any uh, intercepting device by any person other than a person given prior authority by all parties. That's what their in term, their definition of interception means. So back to the actual definition of the law. Again, starting over, willingly, willingly commits an interception, attempts to commit an interception, or procures any other person to commit an interception or to attempt to commit an interception of any wire or oral communication shall be fined not more than $10,000 or imprisoned by the state prison for not more than five years or imprisoned in the jail or house of correction for not more than two and a half years. They um, slap on the wrist, it's not a fine. They're, they're running $10,000 in five years of my life um, for filming uh, officers in their capacities. Um, again, I'm not here to plead my case. I know I have a court of law and unfortunately, or luckily for me, the courts have ruled in my favor consecutive times. I just think if it's the committee's <coughs> job to review procedures, um, it might be something of your interest to pull some strings at, uh, or your authority over such people because they're abusing it, which is leading to very costly uh, trials and budgets. I mean, I've heard a number of times today that budgets are an issue here uh, for the city these times, and it's also giving you guys a bad name. I mean, I wouldn't be here today filming this proceedings if it wasn't here. Okay. And so I just would like to take into consideration. Well, we appreciate you coming and bring it to the commission, and certainly we'll focus on this uh, as part of our review. And I think you heard us indicate that that process is ongoing presently. Uh, the entire policy manual for the police department is under review because of this incident. Um, it started before that. Uh, the request has been months before. Um, but there is uh, no doubt that uh, every employee of the town of Greenfield, representing the town of Greenfield in any position uh, whatsoever, shall maintain a level of professionalism and a uh, level of resident and citizen courtesy that uh, shall not be exceeded by any other department in, in the area of the United States. So this, our job is to not be anyone, but to be the servants of our uh, taxpayers and our residents. Before you cross the street, you better look both ways, or we'll throw you in the pokey for a dozen days. And all around the county, every woman and man knows, we'll pull you over just to play our banjos.